here at Jollibee, about to try some of their fried chicken and all their spaghetti and famous stuff. So uh, let's check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? Nate and Lynn back again here with my brew. Uh, Tim Lynn, check out his channel. He does like a uh, podcast and whatever and stuff. Check it out. So uh, we got the Jollibee. Drove all the way out far, far, far away from our house and uh, picked up some of that fried chicken. So right here we got the, uh, do you want to list off the food for us? Uh, this is a six piece chicken joy. Uh, it's the bucket, um, yeah, about 10 bucks. Got the Aloha Yum Burger. Um, we also had some extra chicken. These are for my parents. Um, got some fries. Um, they're, and they're famous. There's a- Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti action right there, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, got an extra gravy and gravy uh, right here. I'm gonna go to town. I'm hungry, so uh, here we go. You wanna dig in right here? Yeah. All right, so let's start with that spicy fried chicken, right? Uh, chicken. All right. Uh, let's go leg. Let's each go leg first. Cause it's... Got the jolly meat. Look at that. Your own little the action right there. Yeah. Right. Focus. Yeah. Hey, okay. I'm I'm like certain that Popeyes has the best chicken in the fast food chain. I've never had Jollibee chicken, so let's see if they change my mind. Dang, that's like pretty tender. You can actually taste the spice, holy cow. Great it's stuff. juicy, look at that, juicy. They only have dark meat here, no white meat. And great meat. the skin's not overpowering. It's not like KFC was just batter, and then it still has that crispiness, but also has the tenderness of the chicken, so you can taste both. So, and you can actually taste the spice on here, unlike Popeyes, it's good, but the spice is like, you can't taste it too much. I think I like this chicken. Better. I think I like Jolly Meat a lot better. I actually like this chicken much better than Popeyes. Oh my God. Mm. Dude, that's hella good. Dude, I'm a fried chicken like fanatic too. Like, I've had it all like churches, KFC, Popeyes, Safeway chicken even. But dude, this is this is legit. I think this is my favorite fried chicken. That gravy's good too. I like it because I like I'm a I'm the person that really enjoys like spice flavor and stuff like that. So I think this actually oh has God. the right to be spicy fried chicken because it's it's good. The flavor is really good. Dude, this is like, this was like actually worth driving freaking, like we left our house at like two or at 12. We got back at like two. This was so worth it. Having the fry, dipping it in the gravy. Is there spaghetti? Got like some hot dog action in there. It's supposed to be some hot dogs, some sweet ketchup action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it around. About yeah, that. there's like some cheese on top. It's not like a typical spaghetti. It's like, it's supposed to be a little sweeter. Stuff I've like never that. had fast food spaghetti. Me neither. So, I'm gonna get some noodles and some hot dog action. Gotta eat that cartilage, guys. The immune system to be young. Well, he's eating out of the freaking bread. Here, I'm gonna mix it up. We're good. That's not bad. I'm gonna start cutting the burger. That's not bad at all. I mean, it's obviously not on the level that the chicken is, but. It's sweeter or is it like. I feel like it's something like if you were like just like hungry late at night and like. It's supposed to be a Filipino party food, so like I assume like if you had alcohol or whatever. It's not bad, yeah, like totally. So I got the kombucha right here, so it's a little alcohol. I have water. Let me try the spaghetti real quick. Give it a twirl. Up. Uh, my napkin on the right there. Mm. I guess more is. It's actually like sweet. It has some like ground beef in it. So it does have like some protein in it, which is good. Um, yeah, the sauce sweet. is a lot sweeter, yeah, it's tomatoey. Um, it's got, it's got hot dog in it, like some and then like. ground beef. And, yeah, it's supposed to be more of like a fruity ketchup kind I, of I sauce. Yeah. Mm, mm. 
Mexican hard fry. Yeah. I like McDonald's and stuff. I mean, we didn't eat it like right there, so it's not as crispy anymore, but it's still being fried. Spaghetti's not bad, it's pretty good actually. So imagine if you're drunk at a party or something, you just eat jelly spaghetti and then you get cured. I feel like if you're hungover the next day and you like didn't eat breakfast or anything, and you just have like a pot of this, I feel like someone can go like him. It's good. The, the ground beef in it's really good. Like Vietnamese, like when they're like drunk or whatever, like their hangover food is just like pho. That's then, good too. Buzz bomb, and then I guess like Filipinos is like something. It's the hangout food. Alright, ready to try this burger? Yeah, this is the Aloha burger. Alright. The Aloha Yum. Here's the inside. Yeah, inside, it. look, right there. Uh huh, yup, 360, right there. Like, yeah, Real good. Two patties. Aloha burger. Let's, uh, let's try this. So it looks like there's pineapple, bacon. Um, some cheese, lettuce, two patties. Um, uh, yeah, I think there's like maybe mayo on top or butter or something on top. Something like that. Yeah, I so, just heard like their yum burger is good. So I was just like, I don't want to just get the regular one. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like pineapple. Some people don't like pineapple on like savory stuff. I enjoy pineapple and stuff, so cheers. cheers. Mm. That beef mm. doesn't taste like regular ground beef. It tastes like, you know, some, some, like, like that. Asian-y, like, like some Asian, like, seasoning in this. I think the sweetness of the pineapple really goes well with the saltiness of that bacon right there. See right there? That really is a good bite. And I think the melted cheese is, you, you can never go wrong with cheese. And then, I'm, that, dipping, I'm dipping this in. Yeah, definitely the bacon and the pineapple are really stand out in this burger. You got that sweet savory action, so if you like that, you'll definitely like the Aloha burger. I would definitely give it like, like a five stars. Like, like if I ate this in like Hawaii or something, this is like everything right here. Mm -hmm. See how juicy that is right there? Mm -hmm. You can see that juice oozing out. I remember like we were in Hawaii, we went to a place kind of like Jollibee. It wasn't called Jollibee, it was like what, Zippies? Yeah, dude, Zippies is bomb. Dippies, so like my dad ordered like a bunch of chicken and then like my brother got like like a burger or something or something like American. But like their chicken was pretty good, but I don't remember it being this good. We went to Zippies, I got Simon, which is just like noodle soup. I got that like every day in Hawaii, including at Zippies. Yeah, they had other stuff like oxtail soup, um Ed Bogo, I'm pretty sure. Zippies is so good, like if you get a Hawaii it's gonna stick. I know Jollibee has boba too, but I don't want to pay for that. If you want boba, just go to like Gong Cha or something. My favorite boba place is Gong Cha. Sure. Yeah, anyway. I kind of want to dig into another piece of chicken. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. This bird is really good. Those flags, though. That's like something they do at like Asian fried chicken restaurants. Right, that skin. Now, we're all in quarantine, right? And so, everyone's been staying home. What made you want to go 30 minutes away to go, still get jelly? Um, honestly, just because, I mean, I like fast food. I haven't gotten fast food in a while, but I really wanted to try, like, a new place. I'm, like, kind of tired of, like, Popeyes. Well, I'm never tired of Popeyes, but. I don't just want to, like, go try something else, and, like, um, I heard, like, Jollibee had, like, really good, like, stuff, and, like, I was, like, watching stuff online. Like, my stony. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? Like, I should probably like go try their chicken out. And I'm really glad I did. Yeah. Honestly, it was worth the drive. 
I was really like scared, like, oh, we're just gonna like get up there and like the chicken's gonna be average. But... They freaking barricaded the parking lot on one side. We're like, <laughs> uh, we had to like turn around. Cause there's like protests going on and whatever. <coughs> we were like, oh shit. <coughs> but we got the chicken. Spice like went up my nose. Oh, there's like egg in here too. Got all that protein. And there's ham. There's ham in it too. No, that chicken's damn good. I, I prefer it over Popeyes. Yeah. It's like, but. it's like nice and like, it's not like overpowered with batter. And then you also get that spice flavor, which a lot of fried chickens always go too light on the spice. They need so, one near our house, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't know why, because where we live, there's a bunch of like, there's a big Asian population. A lot of people kind of bag on the gravy. I say it like ruins the chicken. Honestly, it really doesn't. That's good flavor. This looks like a heavy gravy. It's really not. It's pretty light. It's very salty. Yeah. But like, it's fine. Honestly, the chicken by itself is really good by itself. Yeah. I like it without the gravy, but like, the gravy's not bad. I can't stop dipping it in it. We should have given you the food. Nah, yeah, it's fine. I still have a lot of this. I'm a leg person. So since you asked me, since you asked me, I don't have a question. Can I ask you a question? Sure. It's my channel, but I look sure. Why is it that you always sit in the back seat? Oh, right behind? Because, um,. I'm a rich asshole who wants to act like you're my Uber driver. I guess I sit in the side because like... Like we tell you, you can sit in the front, but you just yeah. choose not to. I like having the room. Cause like, I like to put all like my like crap on the side. Like my phone and wallet on the other chairs. And like. Cause it's like... That can I... like spread out or whatever. Yeah, you can actually taste the spice. Like I can like taste it. Like at yeah, Popeye's... At Popeyes, it's like you can get the spicy stuff, but like you can't really taste it that much, in my opinion. I like it's Cajun, like it's Cajun chicken, you know. I like this because the batter's not overpowering, and it has the batter actually has good flavor. Cause like KFC, I'm not a huge KFC fan. Honestly, I, think, I didn't like KFC very much. Yeah. I think honestly, it's juicy. It's like I, if juicy. I could like make a decision again. I would honestly like say, give me Popeye's chicken and give me this chicken and like, let's see, you know, I feel like it's just cause I haven't like had fried chicken in so long, but maybe that's why like, I think this is really good. Um, but I'm not sure, you know. I feel like I'd still go back to Jollibee's chicken. I, cause I like spice, so. Your spicy chicken's a lot better. Yeah. You get mild. Why? It's good spicy. Mild's good. Believe me, fried chicken by itself is good. Not the spice. But when I was introduced to kind of spicy slash hot chicken, it's good. It made it so much better. You know, like spice just enhances that flavor. Well, yeah. Like I used not. To, I used to not be like a big like spice guy then when like I started eating like hot sauce with like my chicken I'm like okay this is kind of good but now that they actually like fried hot sauce yeah they kind of cook it into the chicken I think that's yeah that seasoning cool. good I think it's safe to say for now I think Jolly Bee Chicken is like probably number one right now yeah just because it's yeah that's good All right, thanks guys for coming back to my channel and watching this uh, Jollibee mukbang, if you will. If you want to see more or have us try new places, comment down below what you want us to try or whatever. He's my chauffeur for Uber, so uh, yeah, I'll just have him driving wherever I want to get food. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what family's for, the chauffeur. 
Thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked the video. Go try out this stuff. Jolly B, would you rate it? I'd give it 10 out of 10. Nice. 10 out of 10. Go try it out, no matter how far you have to drive. If you have to drive like 30 minutes like we did, it's worth the drive, for sure. Go check it out. Thanks for tuning in, and thumbs up. Thumbs ups are awesome. Uh.